All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. The Raptors have won five straight games. I feel even better after last night's win the day after. I mean, there's just something about the day after a victory, especially when you're on a five-game winning streak. It just feels, I, it's like perfect. It's like euphoria. I think euphoric is the best word to describe the way I'm feeling is, this team has won five straight basketball games, and they are knocking off significant teams. I know you can have your opinions on the Washington Wizards, you know, blah, 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 lost Russell Westbrook, but hey, this was a playoff team last year. That's the way I look at it, is the Raptors just took down a playoff team on the road, which, by the way, I forgot to mention this in yesterday's recap video, the Raptors... I, have they even lost a game on the road? I think they're like four and... Actually, we can figure this out right here. Two and two and oh. Uh, have they lost a game? They are four and oh on the road this season. And a large part, I would say like... I mean, so much of that has to do with last season. I mean, if you're playing... And this is stuff I preached all off season. Is it's like, if you are playing an entire season outside of your home arena, your home court in your own country like the rat I don't think people really understood this like I mean this is ridiculous or this was crazy. The Raptors legitimately played an entire season in a different country in a different stadium in a just totally different team like fans like they they played in Tampa, Florida. Like my dad's from Tampa, Florida. They're not the Tampa Bay Raptors. So the fact that they had to play a whole year like that is just, I mean, it's insane. Like, it, looking back at it is actually pretty crazy. But then you just add on, like, there is a positive to be out of anything. And that's just solid life advice is you can find the positive off anything, anything in life, any negative any negative thing in life, there is a positive from it. And you're witnessing it right now. Yeah, did Raptors fans suffer last year? Did the Raptors suffer last year? Yes and yes. Was it worth it? I think you'd ask most Raptors fans that question right now, and they would be like, yes, 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 yes. Of course. I mean, it's not just this win on the road against the Wizards. It was that win on the road against the Knicks without Scotty Barnes as well. It was that win on the road in a back-to-back -back against the Indiana Pacers. It was that first win of the season where we learned Scotty Barnes owns the Celtics. Like, those are four extremely impressive road wins. I mean, four essentially playoff teams that you're looking at right there. So, <laughs> Who do they got Friday? They got the Cavaliers. Ooh. Now the Cavs are pretty good, man. I, I won't I, I definitely won't lie to you. I mean the Cavs are not like the worst team in basketball. And it's not even close. They just got a nice win against the Trailblazers. And then uh, earlier this week, might have been last Sunday, but I think it was Monday night. Uh they got a good win against the Hornets. I actually watched that whole game. Yeah, it was Monday night. They watched I watched a whole game and I made a video on the Cavs after because I'm like, well, first off, the Raptors are playing them later this week, so I can get a good scouting in here. But also, like, they're good and they're fun to watch. I mean, like, they are legitimately a fun team to watch. And this is going to be a really interesting game because, and I'm not, I'm not trying to get into a preview video real quick. I'll, I'll post a preview video probably later tonight, uh, but they have three seven-footers in their starting lineup, so that's going to be an interesting game. But let's talk about last night's game. Let's talk about a couple more. Uh, let's do like takeaways, I, I guess is the is the great word for that. Uh, also, if you're still watching right now, hit that like button, hit that sub button. I post Raptors content at least seven days a week. Sometimes it gets more to like 10. Uh, we're trying to hit 9,000 subscribers. I believe I am 120 away, so thank you guys so much. Uh, let's talk about Freddie V because and this is something I was mentioning yesterday. I believe I have a screenshot here. Uh, I don't. Damn. Wow, I'm shocked I don't have a screenshot. Basically, the screenshot was like, you know, Freddie in the first couple of games, it was like eight assists, bad efficiency, and then in the last, since the win streak started, it's been like six assists and a lot better shooting, more points per game, more rebound, like everything. So that's something definitely, and also I do apologize because I'm still sick as fuck. Uh, but Freddie V, like 33, three and six last night, three and six from downtown. He had a steal, he had a block. My only issue with Fred Van Vliet this year is not an issue with him himself. It's more with Nick Nurse playing him 40 plus minutes every single 
night. Like that's why you have guys like Delano Banton and Malachi Flynn and even Goran Dragic down there in the in the roster because it's like why play your point guard, your starting point guard, 43 minutes if you don't have to? I mean, that's pretty insane. But I guess they have really kind of needed him. They've needed that. They've needed their captain, really. They've, they've needed their leader. Because the last two games, Scotty Barnes has been out. And I know that, like, to a lot, if you're not a Raptors fan, Scotty Barnes being out for two games probably sounds like such a bad excuse, but it's legitimate. I mean, Scotty Barnes is averaging 19 and 8 this season. I don't think. You can tell me that 19 and 8 for a rookie who's played, what, seven games so far is bad? I mean, it's it's extremely impressive. So the Raptors are 6 and 3 right now. They're either about to be 6 and 4 or 7 and 3. And I think everyone can agree that is a huge, huge victory considering, I mean, last year, Vegas put them at like 36 and a half wins. They're already almost, I mean, not halfway there, but what, what's the math there? 25%? Like, they're literally getting there. Seven. They're like 20%. If they win, they're like 20% away from what Vegas has them projected, and they've only played nine games this season. So a lot of this has to do with Freddie V because he is just controlling this game. And I have a quote here uh, that, that was after the game. This is what he said. It's been an adjustment, Van Vliet said, of often being the team's lone floor general. It's not good or bad. It's just been different. Some nights it's frustrating. Some nights I feel good. But it's just a learning curve. And I played next to a Hall of Famer for five years. Me and him had great chemistry offensively. I probably miss Kyle Lowry on defense more than offense, to be honest with you. But I'm just trying to find the flow and learn my guys. And I mean, that's exactly what he's doing, and I, I touched on this last night where it's I, I want to see Fred be more aggressive rather than trying to set his teammates up the entire game. I want him to find his own spots, find his own shots, and that way it's just going to help generate more open looks for everyone else on the team. One issue I saw with Fred in the first like three games of the season is he would drive into the paint with ease and then not really do anything from there. He would try and pass it out or whatever he would do, but he wasn't even like looking for the shot. And you can definitely tell that has changed. I mean, mid rangers alone, he made like 12 of his points last night were in the mid range game. So he's just been much more solid, much more consistent the last five games of the season. So if Fred can continue that, Throughout the duration of this season, I mean, 100% the Raptors are are better than a play-in seed. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Let's aim for 150 likes on today's video. If you're still watching this, maybe check out the link in the bio. I've got all my socials there, including my Twitter and my second channel. But that's it. Peace.